Max. Oh, I'm waiting for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Coming. I wish I could do more. It's our annual occupancy drop. It's flu season. Sir, I graduated from Kirov Conservatory. I was the second chair in Irkutsk. You're getting the first class clarinetist for what? $35. Max, I can get a 12 fingered Hungarian harpist in here for 20. Can I have it in cash? <laughs> sure. Thank you. I was thinking of doing Brahms uh, next week. Brahms? That's great. That, or Barry Manilow. You can never go wrong with that guy. Excuse me. Hey, honey. No, I'm not busy at all. No, things don't get hot until bingo starts. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah? I'm looking for my mom. Hillary Hansen. She went to Phoenix last night. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know she had a kid. Yeah, um, could you give her these? She said she had the flu. I don't think she's gonna be coming back. Um, it didn't work out. Let me see. I gotta go to work. You could see how she sits, absorbed, gazing into space, a distant living glow reflected in her eyes. Who is she then? Not the Celia you know, another Celia. Do you mind I'm polishing my monologue? Skip, you're not here to polish your monologue, you're here to do a job. I've told you a hundred times, this is a part-time gig until my acting career takes off. What? What? Some actors wait tables. I steal Hondas every once in a while. So Can what? we focus on the stealing? No, this is important, okay? I have an audition Tuesday. I'm doing Pirandello. If you could see how she sits, absorbed, gazing into space, a distant living glow reflected in her eyes. Steve McQueen. I hope he gets away. Bye, Tanya. Mr. Sarafanov, how are you doing? I can't complain as long as I'm doing what I love. Are you still working for the orchestra? Of course. I happen to be on my way home right now. An acquaintance of mine happened to be at the Turin Symphony last week. Didn't see you. Or should I say, didn't hear you? Many people listen, Tanya. But not everyone can hear. Good afternoon, Maxim Arkadyevich. Russians are terrible gossips around here, aren't they? Sometimes I feel they choose rumors over rubles if they were starving in Siberia. You know, go unload feta. It's in the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. How is Nikita? Wonderful, wonderful. Always busy with his homework. Love is real. It is not. 
Just in novels or the movies It is fact And it is standing here Nikita Please remove your hand from my crotch I love you Okay Let's talk like grown-ups You're 14 Romeo was 15 Juliet was not 31 so, my Juliet was born 400 years later in Ventura and not Verona. And my Juliet teaches English at Fairfax Elementary School and lives in a rent-controlled apartment. My Juliet is not the spring, but the early autumn, which is the fair season of them all. What do you want? I want you to promise me that when we make love, you'll keep your glasses on. I want you to read my body like it's Balzac. Out. Extravagant, perhaps? Reason is the last refuge of the unimaginative death. Go ahead, Medusa, and drown the last flame to my dying heart. Yeah, well, it's me or the fire department. that I love you as no one else ever will. For the moment, you can rest easy, knowing that you got what you wanted. I hate you. Farewell, Nikita. Farewell. Where do you think you're going? Eat me. You can't leave. I'm the one that's leaving. Who's going to stay here and look after Dad? You don't give a shit about him. Why should I? What's going on here? Shut up. Precious Wunderkind is running away. Is that true? What about your school and your piano lessons? I hate the piano. Why can't we just all admit that we're mediocrities? It's genetic. Don't ever say that again. Your grandpa Anatoly was a great tenor. Oh, yeah? They have a statue of him in downtown Kirov. Perfect. We can put up a statue of Nikita's erection in Fairfax in honor of his monumental obsession with that oh. cradle robber next door. Are you on the rag or the pilot next door dismissed the landing strip again? What'd you say? Why do you think I listen to my music so loud? These walls are like paper. Major, Colonel, Private. Oh, don't be so quick on the trigger, Lieutenant. Be a general about it. Oh, uh. Ha! Uh. You want a piece of me? Uh. I hate this place so much.
Can I use your restroom? We've kind of been huffing it for the last hour. Just go. Do you mind? Is that habitual offenders? Great band. I saw them in Baltimore before they got the record deal. <sighs> oh, yes. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. <laughs> the tundra winds blew in his head too much. <laughs> uh... But at his age, life is full of dreams and love serenades. Uh, do you understand? You're a professor of literature. I teach third grade. And I wouldn't call waking up with Nikita's hands between my legs a love serenade. And it's more like class three sexual assault. Who are you guys? Who are, who are we? Or who are we? You know, because that's more of a metaphysical question. Now, that's probably something you should be asking yourself, not a couple of strangers. We're looking for um, a Mr. Serof. Uh, Serafanov? Serafanov, yes. Is he home? No. He'll be right back, though. How do you know him? Well, that is a difficult question to answer for your dad and I. We, uh, we go way back. You see, the thing is, is. Nikita. Nikita. That's a great name. Parlez-vous français? It's Russian. Nikita. The sad thing is, is that... Man, I... I haven't even met your old man. But I thought you said you'd go way back. We do. We do. Max and I, we... Might as well just say it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you should probably just go ahead and say it. Max Serafanov happens to be my father. I don't think he even knows I was born. So, Nikita, that means you and I are... How about you give your big brother a hug, huh? Come on. It's a beautiful moment for both of you. Yeah. Yeah, go to him. to tell you something. I don't really like talking dirty during sex. You don't? I just fake it to make you happy. You're really good at it. Sometimes I think I'm just using you to get me out of this dump. So use me. That's the foundation of a good marriage. You fake it, and I take you with me when I go to Houston. Sure about that? What kind of question is that? I'm gonna marry you. I'm not Pilot's wife material. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I have a tattoo and I'm vegan. It's not like you're potato and I'm potato. You're a cheeseburger and I'm borscht. I'm taking you with me because I don't have a choice. I don't know. I love borscht. Do have to climb out the window again? Thank you. Welcome. Cheers. 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 
So, Nikita, where's your, um, your mom, like Mrs. Serafinov? No, no. There isn't a Mrs. Serafinov. I know a single parent home when I see one. It's true. When I was six, my mom, uh, test drove this Trans Am with this guy who looked like Robert Redford. Uh, we never saw her again. Well, bummer. Anyway, uh, Pringles? I always love a Pringle. <laughs> Thank you. Nikita, Lolita. It's my dad. Your dad. Our dad. Hey, hey. I have something important to tell you. Listen. I was just as young and mad as you once, just as reckless. You can say that again. You can help it. A mix of warrior and poet, boys, three of A's. It's a family curse. What are you doing? I'm fucking starving. Well, let's go. Just look. I'm a little hypoglycemic. I need okay. some meat. Okay, just get the Pringles and let's get the fuck out of here. What? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Janice. Look at this. What have you been drinking? Oh, well, I had a little champagne for the occasion. You're 14 years old. Everything you do is illegal. Do you want to spend the rest of your life in prison? Your son is in the kitchen. Your elder son. To my Russian bear. This is a no-brainer, I'm telling you. No way. I mean, no way. No way. Why in the hell would we go anyplace else? Nobody's gonna look for us here. Look, how, we... how the hell am I gonna convince a total fucking stranger that he's my father? Wait, wait, your real father is a total fucking stranger. He might as well be this guy. Come on. It's worth a try. Good evening. Maxim Serafanov. Skip Retro, really good to meet you, sir. Bo? Hi. It's uh, short for, for Beauregard. So, how can I help you, Beauregard? Uh, sir, we, we, we apologize for just showing up here like this out of the blue, but... Um... Coming to meet his biological father was a very big decision for my friend. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I'm afraid uh, this is some sort of misunderstanding. Sir, he's not asking for much. Just a little bit of your time. I hate to disappoint you. I really hope you'll find your father sometime soon. But uh, you've got the wrong man. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Since the day I learned to talk. <laughs> and it's okay, Dad. I, I have no expectations and no regrets. But I never had another son. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I'm 100% sure. When is your birthday? August 14th, 1980. What's going on? You didn't tell me you had a sister. What do you mean, sister? <laughs> we have a brother. Can't you tell? I mean, he is a, a Smirnoff through and through. Dad, who are these people? Uh, honey, uh, this nice young man is a bit confused. Uh, he thinks that he and I might be related, potentially. Potentially? This guy, potentially. I mean, can't, can't you see how much they, they look alike? In the... No. He's got Dad's eyes. Exactly. No, he doesn't. Our father has beautiful eyes. Lolita, there is no reason to be rude. Bodyguard has a nice blue eyes. I can't just let these perfect strangers waltz into our house and eat our fucking Pringles. Oh, shame on you. Are you up for adoption, too? Okay. Listen, if you want us to leave, then just say the word. Leave. It was nice to meet you, Dad. What's her name? Your mother. Janice. Janice who? Hansen. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know anyone by that name. Really? Cellist from Cincinnati? 
You don't remember her? Uh, no, no. Her name was Turner. I know. Turner. <laughs> That's my mother's maiden name. See? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm calling the cops. Uh, no, no, you know what? No, forget it, okay? Just forget the whole thing. Clearly, you're not ready. Thank you for your time. We should go. The Russian bear. I mean, isn't that what she called you? Her Russian bear. Her what? Her Russian bear. My dad. Son. Father? See, no. your mother and I after the Brahms program. Well, look at mom. Four glorious months we've played together in Cincinnati. Looking back now, I realize no woman could ever compare to her. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that. <sighs> What's she like these days? Oh, uh, you know, she's a survivor. Aren't we all? Can't be more than uh, 50 now. 49. Still so young. Does she have anybody else? I mean, any other children? No, just me. You know, the last time I saw her, <laughs> she was standing at the bus stop, waving her goodbye all by herself. She wasn't quite by herself, as you can see. You poor boy. You must have hated me. Two sons having their fathers. First thing in the morning. What? Are you are you nuts? After all of that? After I've been waiting for this moment ever since I learned how to talk. That was beautiful. Yeah, but I can't hustle somebody who believes everything I say. Oh god, do you know?
Thank you for coming, Monologue. I'll be right back. What's wrong with the sign? Let's go to some place. What'd you take? What'd you take? Nothing. I had a bad feeling about you from the beginning. What's going on in here? Your newly found son was just about to be lost again. I didn't want to make it a big deal. I thought it'd be easier on everyone. But uh, we were just getting to know each other. I'm sorry. Uh, we got midterms. I see. Will I ever see you again? Sure. Do you think uh, I could call you? You know, I think it's best if I call you. Uh, I understand. Well, my door is always open. And so is my car. Oh, wait a minute. Thank God. What a sclerotic. <laughs> Why'd you steal my picture? Well, I, <laughs> I just wanted something to remember you by. I never had a sister before. You must have this before you go. In our family, uh, this ashtray has always belonged to the elder son. There is a portrait of Nicholas II, Russian king. Wow. Take it. Now it's yours. Thank you. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try to start smoking. <laughs> Do you really have to go? That's exactly what I said, but he doesn't listen. You should stay. You should stay and learn some biology from your biological father. Exactly. Yeah, uh, please. I guess I could take the makeup test. Brilliant idea. Brilliant. <laughs> we'll have the whole day, all of us together. You two, Skippy, I insist. Oh, we need some air in here. <laughs> and, and food. We need a food, a lot of food, a Russian food. <laughs> uh, we are going to, to, to Russian nights. Ladies and Future luminary, you were born behind the curtains, but have turned my life's set vaudeville into an opera. You know, your face looks familiar. That's it. You got Uncle Fidus cheekbones. <laughs> Royal blood. Sorry, himself. This is called Opera Corpio. Oh, yes. no, no. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on. Well, okay, then, um, uh, a small piece. Hmm?
really jam on that thing. Oh, I jam sound every day. Yeah. <laughs> For the Torrance uh, Symphony Orchestra, very prestigious. And uh, I compose to him. I'm uh, writing a major symphony. Max, <laughs> this was the sexiest Prakofi I've ever heard in my life. It was actually Tchaikovsky. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Maxim Arkadzh, now, since you're marrying Lalita off, I think you need a wife of your own. <laughs> stop, stop, please. <laughs> yeah, what about Kulave, the meat market? In bet she's an acrobat. <laughs> um, so they say. It's not acrobatics, it's epilepsy. What about Bo's mom? So what's the story, Bo? Is your mom available, married, single, divorced? Half of Fairfax is dying to know. We are talking about great woman. She has her own life now, right? Yes. But wouldn't you love to meet her now? I know that I would. Yeah, that's a great idea. Right, Bo? Right, Bo? <laughs> well, she's available, last time I checked. <laughs> <laughs> My children have no manners, none. <laughs> what we are waiting for? Let's drink. Let's drink a lot. <laughs> your face looks so familiar. Uh, Are you an actor? Actually, I've done quite a bit of that, yes. Oh, what did I see you in? Any number of things, really. Mostly stage. <gasps> Wait a minute. Weren't you in a Dickie's Nachos commercial a few years ago? Yes, I was. Yes! You were the royal, you were the royal munch guy. You were great in that. Really? I love that signature move of yours. You mean the royal nacho cheese spin maneuver? Like this? <laughs> would you like to learn it? Yes, I would. Max, let's go dance. Oh, Vera, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I, I have rehearsal for me. Oh, you do? The whole orchestra is waiting. <laughs> Eyes. Bo takes after her, doesn't he? Wish I had a chance to get to know him a little bit better. You do? You have all the time in the world. Don't start with me again, Dad, please, okay? You played cello in high school. You studied philosophy in college. And ballet. And ballet. Yes, you and art, and I everything. could do anything I want. I'd rather have a real life in Houston than suffer a slow death in a little Ukraine. Okay, then. You are a grown up girl. Good. She 
He has unbelievable eyes. <laughs> yeah. And a ridiculous rack. Watch it. That is my sister you're talking about. Precisely. Pervert. Morning, boys. Wake up. Take a look outside. The wind is the bow, the trees are violins, and the sun is conducting. There is a symphony out there. <laughs> I think we've officially overstayed our welcome. It's time to bail. Oh, no. Well, it was your idea to hang here. I think it's working out fine. I have my audition today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Good luck. It's been two days already, OK? I'm sure that the coast is clear. What are you, what are you going to do? Sit here and listen to fucking Prokov, Prokov 5? I'm beginning to like Prokovia. To whom do we owe such an extravagant picnic? To all of you, my children, all at the same table. <laughs> what more could I ask for? Are you sure we're all here? <laughs> <laughs> She's saying I have a reputation as a ladies' man. <laughs> well, you earned it, you Russian bear, says his cub. Nikita's dedicated his life to hooking up with his sex as a second language. Professor, next. Well, I can see where Nikita's coming from. Thank you. I pictured you with someone with a little more class. Shut up. How about a nice Russian girl? Okay. I'm sure they'll love him with his pedigree. Did you know that you come from a long line of starving tenors, poets, and woodwinds? See what I'm dealing with? A cynic. No sense of family pride, no identity. <laughs> well, I'm proud to be a woodwind. And you know what? I would love to go to the symphony and hear Dad play. Why don't you hear him play? Another day when you come back and visit. No, no, it's a great idea. He should come and uh, hear his father play. You should come with me. Absolutely. You should all go. We are playing uh, Mahler's Nine tomorrow. Great piece. Come, come eat, bro. Eat. Okay. It's a beautiful food. Beautiful. This looks good. And try caviar. Nice move, inviting yourself to Dad's concert. Thank you. Wouldn't get my hopes up too high, Tchaikovsky. There isn't going to be a concert. The orchestra cut him, or cut him almost a year ago. They were downsizing. Dad's been losing his hearing, and he drinks. So he was the first to go. Hey, hey, hi, my friend. Wondering about you. <laughs> what are you up to these days? Uh, I compose, actually. I've been working on a symphony, almost done with it. That's uh, fantastic. Good for you, Max. Yes. Sit, sit, please. No, thank you. <clears throat> How is everything around here? Don't even ask. I'm tired of slaving for this management. The whole orchestra is a mess. You should see the primo violinist they just brought in. A young punk, no talent. <laughs> 
I heard he's the chairman's boy toy. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Max. It's good to see that some of us are doing something worthwhile with their lives. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Listen, Esther. I have a bit of favor to ask you. My children have asked to come to the concert tomorrow. And I, uh, well, I still haven't told them. You can't be serious. <laughs> I know. All this time? Would you please let me replace you tomorrow? Max, <laughs> you could get me fired. Look, Esso, I bought this in a fine uh, antique store in Gorky. It's a Renoir silver, beautiful, see? They'll pay you at least 700 uh, at pawn shop, but it's worth more. Please, sir. Just this one time. I'm sorry, Max. I don't know what to say. Yes, sir. My children have to see me play. They cannot doubt that they have it in their blood to do great things with their lives. Tell your children you will let go. Be the truth. It's always better than a sweet lie. Spasiba, good luck for you. up on your Russian heritage? Mm, this is great. You know what the great thing is? Mm. You're actually exercising. <laughs> <laughs> I am? Yep, it's the famous Russian piroshki workout. You're working your abs out from the inside. You know, it's great cardio too. I can actually feel my arteries doing some heavy lifting. The average life expectancy in the old country is about 57. So if you're really serious about being Russian, you gotta learn how to live in the moment. Call me Boris. All right, then, Boris Maximovich. Here's your new Bible. It's a present. The greatest hits of Russian toast. The first thousand. care of the rest of it yourself. Ugh. Do you know it's a scientific fact that women reach their sexual prime by age 35 and boys do in their teens? Biologically speaking, you and I should be mating right now. Nikita, do me a favor. Mate with somebody your own age. Susan, I'm an altruist in bed. I've done lots of research. I have an idea. Let's not do mating. Let's do movies. You and me? Yes. What time? I don't care. I'll buy them all. I'll buy every ticket for all the shows. <laughs> for the rest of our lives! Got another kvass. Man, this shit is still like Sputnik. Give it to me. Strong hands. I played the cello for 10 years. Now I know why. Thanks a lot, Janice. <laughs> I told them they were gonna repo it. They've been leaving messages for months. They repossessed his car? Try to help out, but what does he care about car payments? All he cares about is changing the world with his stupid symphony. Oh, come on, is it that bad? How should I know? He was on page two as of last summer, now he's back on page one. Well, maybe that's the way music's supposed to be composed. 
Now I see it, you're just like your psycho dad. Such a Sarafano. Skippy. Hey, buddy. I'll be with you in a minute, okay? Kinda urgent. Bosun, my friend. Oh, I'm an actor. I'm an okay. actor. Oh, yeah. Happy for you, Skip. Skip. See, you're gonna have to lay off Susan, all right? What? Why? I like her. She's a teacher. She believes the children are the future. Just stay her. away from her, okay? Is this about your little brother? Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, then, um, I'm gonna have to ask you to stay away from your sister. I don't have time for this, okay? I'm meeting up with Dad for drinks in ten minutes, so... Dad? Dad? Yes, Dad. Okay, you know what? You're really starting to freak me out now. Skip, what the hell are you doing back here? What am I doing here? There were two cop cars chasing my apartment. That's what I'm doing here. I have nowhere else to go. Shit. We should go to Mexico. This place is the fifth ring of hell. I'd rather be in prison with you. He said we were going into Russia and Morocco. I thought it was a bar. I can't breathe. I gotta get down from here. Let's put more water in the rock. It's freezing up here. Ah, oh, no. I'm getting down from here. All right. Your turn, princess. Who? Your princess? No, 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 no. I'm allergic. Okay. All right. Go easy. Ow. Ow. About the, the concert tomorrow. That's right. Um, I forgot to tell you. Uh, something came up. I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's a bad night anyway. Uh, uh, we have uh, this amateur guest conductor. You should see the new violinist we got. Young punk. <laughs> the whole orchestra's a mess. <laughs> yeah. Come with me. I don't fancy myself a Mozart. Uh, no, no, no. It's just... Um, every man is born a creator. You see? Every man. We are here to pass on the very best of us. The very essence. The love. This symphony is my contribution to humanity. It is my legacy, my duty. The, the, it is just opening, you know. A blueprint, really. Maybe this isn't the, the right time. I was gonna say maybe it's a it's a bit noisy. It is, isn't it?
Hall. Howdy, cowboy. Shit. <laughs> you really just scared me. Sorry. I was looking for the bathroom. Then what are you doing in my room? Yeah, uh, Nikita, he gave me this. It's called Kush. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he stole it from me. I wish we grew up together. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. I could have used an older brother. Yeah, you know, the brothers and sisters that, that fight a lot, um, and beat each other up. We wouldn't do that. No, no, we're... We'd be the other kind. I think we'd be the kind that... likes to share things. You know, or... share our toys, our books, blankets. I... think we'd even take baths together, you know, more of a... In a sibling kind of way. Yeah, well, I think we're about to turn into the kind that beat each other up. <sighs> All right. Whatever you're into. If you and I lived in a different life and uh, we weren't relatives, would I have a chance with you? I think so. I better go. It was really great weed. <laughs> Me too. Right, good night, brother. Half brother. Good night, all the same. In the rain, suddenly everything changed. They're spreading blankets on the beach. Yours is the first face that I saw. I think I was blind before I met you. And I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been, but I know where I want to go. So I thought I'd let you know Yeah, these things take forever I especially am slow But I realized that I need you And I wondered if I could come home Remember the time you drove all night just to meet me in the morning And I thought it was strange You said everything changed You felt as if you'd just woke up And you said This is the first day of my life I'm glad I didn't die before I met you But now I don't care I could go anywhere with you and I'd probably be happy So if you wanna be with me With these things there's no telling We just have to wait and see But I'd rather be working for a paycheck Than waiting to win the lottery Taping the soccer game. Made its way onto local freeways, the 101 towards the Fairfax area. The suspects seen here are still at large. If you see these people, please do not try to.
are to apprehend them, notify the police, and they will take them. Hungry? <laughs> Thank you. A delicious chibureki this morning. Thank you for the flower. Where'd you get it? I stole it from the neighbor next door. Huh. Very Russian of you. Here, try this. Mm. You know, there is this other Russian thing I've been dying to try. You know, what's that? Max, I don't have time for this. Who the hell is Skip? Well, it's important that we talk. Okay, can we make this quick? Yeah. I, I was at Vera's tonight. Oh, good for you, Max. You know, you two should get it on. I forgive you, and so does Janice, okay? I know everything, Bo. I saw you on TV. Good. Hey, Dad. Hey, bro. Back row. <laughs> A biology major. Why would you steal a car? I'm not a scientist, okay? I went to Cal State for a year on a track scholarship until I blew out my knee, and I've been hustling ever since. So, you know, it's what I know. It's what I'm good at. So I'm not your problem, okay? Don't worry about me. It's all my fault. Max, what are you talking about? You never get a father. Poor Janice. Raising a child by herself, especially boy, it's unthinkable. Max, Janice is not great. Uncle Pavlik is a fantastic criminal lawyer. We'll go through this together. You have a father now, child. Hear me. I'm free of the father. From now on, this will be the volume that you listen to your stupid music at. Well, Susan and I are in love. And I'm taking her to the movies tonight. Why don't you skip the movies and take her directly to jail? We're moving to New York until we officially get married, and you're not invited. Looks like we're all getting out of this dump. Bo, you want to stay and hang out with your dad, huh? Okay, wait, wait, wait. What if I did it like Max, you know? It would be like... If you can see how she sits, absorbed, gazing into space, a distant living glow reflected in her eyes. Holy shit. Skip, skip. Just, I can't. I can't hear this anymore, okay? Okay. Jesus, Kenny, what happened to your face? You all right? Does it look like I'm all right? So fucking broke, my agent booked me as a pinata for a Telemundo commercial. What the hell is this, Skip? That is a Dodge Caravan. Yeah, this is a chop shop, not a daycare center. Kenny, look, we know that. We're real sorry, okay? But we, we just, we've been having um, family problems. Look, I see that you guys are in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. All right? So I will give you uh, 1500 for this piece of shit. 1500 15. No, 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 no. This is a vintage 98. Look, you can shop it around if you want, boys. All right, Kenny, we will throw in this beautiful, antique Russian ashtray with it. Who's the dude there? The dude is 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 Nicholas the Terrible. Okay, he, no, he, no, no, give me that. It's been in our it. family for hundreds of years. I like it. No. Fine, Fine 1500 All right, man. Got yourself a deal. Well, I 
suppose change is inevitable. Although it is kind of weird to see you actually buying a car. Ain't it, though? So we're driving, then? Yeah. At least to Russian nights. Why would we be stopping by Russian Nights? To give Max his car. Did you just trade my ticket to Tijuana to buy back this piece of shit for your pseudo dad? It's not a piece of shit. It's a contemporary classic. Don't talk to me. I can go either way right now. I have a told A famous Belarusian writer once said, it's a job of a woman to get married as soon as possible, and it's a man to get unmarried for as long as he can. Amen. <laughs> you got yourself a hell of a man, my angel. Thank you, Uncle Fedya. Thank you. God, sorry we're late. You were fabulous. What are you doing here? This must be Bo. Lieutenant? It? It's a captain. Humble civilian. Oh, thank you, Nikita. They're beautiful. We're going to see Outlaws. How appropriate. 10 p.m. show? Shoot, 10 p.m.? That's a little late for me. But you said you were free all night. Hey. This is my fiance, Greg Johnson. I to finally meet you, sir. Nice meeting you. Greg flies F-16s. Oh, terrific. <laughs> have you met her? Oh, yeah, sure you have. Oh. <clears throat> this is the moment uh, every father looks forward to with hope and dread. I'm sure my little girl knows what she's doing. You must be a good young man. Please. Treasure each other. And remember, life is wiser than we are. As long as we live with honor and pure hearts, life will be merciful. To life, to this amazing phenomenon, that put us all together at this table. Vierushka. Nastroje. Vierushka. You know, Mr. Sarkinov, now that I met you, I'm pretty sure I've seen you somewhere before. So, I'm just, I never forget a face. Where do you play again? Torrance Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. Nope, it wasn't there. I mean, where exactly does your orchestra play? Oh, we play all over uh, Downey, Glendale, uh, El Camino College. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, an hour verde. Al, al of what? Um, a great toast requires a great reply. I never thought of life as something that was fair before. Well, Max made a believer out of me. So to Max, brilliant musician and soon to be recognized composer. But more importantly, to a hell of a father. In two days, you've done more for me as a father than most sons get in a lifetime. Spoken like a true Russian. Thank you, son. Tell me.
Hey, buddy, look. Sorry, Mr. Safranov, but I got a photographic memory, like an elephant. What instrument do you play? Where's the clarinet from? Of course, the clarinet. That's, that's where I know you from. I've seen him play the clarinet before. Oh, let go of it, okay? But it wasn't at the symphony. No, it was at Sunset Acres Nursing Home. That's where I saw him. You're mistaking him with someone else. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What's your problem? You are. Mr. Sarfanov, tell them. My grandmother loves you, Ida Johnson. She's 97 years old, and she always in the corner yelling, bravo, bravo, when you're playing. And on her birthday, I put $10 in your clarinet case. Hey, Greg, hey, Greg, C Commando Greg, Greg, uh, you know, you might recognize me too. I was, I was the, I was in the Dickies Nachos commercials. I knew your face looked familiar. He, he's the Royal Munch guy, Royal Munch guy. Exactly, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You know what else? Your face looks familiar to me. I've seen you on TV. Yes, I remember your grandmother. She's a lovely woman. It was me at this call. I told you. I play there. I also play uh, at dance parties and funerals. I like to. I like to all along. I, uh, I was let go from the orchestra six months ago. I failed. I failed as a serious musician. It's all right, please, I feel all right. Dance parties, funerals, that's exactly where the great musicians belong, if you ask me. Hey, Dad. Who cares where you play? You're awesome right here on Fairfax. Thank you, son. I have a wonderful picture today. You're a whore! You're just a whore! Could I exchange those for a fifth of Smirnoff, please? Nikita, alcohol is the Achilles heel of all Russian men. Look at what happened with your brother. What do you mean? Wait till you see what Vera left in the VCR. Hey. Hey. Man, 
Greg was a lot tougher than he looked. Yeah, but you held your own for a while. Well, thank you, but I don't think I should have done that. I like Greg. He's a nice guy. Who am I kidding? Could never move to Texas. <laughs> Marry Greg. Are you okay? No, I fell in love. What? Who's the lucky girl? Why are you torturing me like this? Uh, You're my brother. No, no, I am not your damn brother. What do you mean? I'm not your brother. My mother raised me in Tarzana. I don't even know my dad's name. Lolita, just believe me. I lied, but I lied to Max. I lied to Nikita. I am not related to you or anybody in this family. I have given my whole life to my children. What do I get in return? They both leave me. You are all I have left, my son. You and your mother. We are off to the airport, you and I. We are going back to the Cincinnati to see Janice. Oh, shit. We pick up flowers at the airport. Daisies, lots of them. She used to love daisies. <laughs> What's so funny, huh? You think it's funny? Huh? Oh, I have raised some heartless egoists. I'll show you what your father's made of. Oh, I need this dumb is my clarinet. My clarinet and my nose. That's all what I need. Nobody will carry me from here in the coffin. Nobody! You let him be like that. No, what else was I supposed to do? I trusted you. I know. I opened up to you. I fucking French kissed you. You're just a stranger. But it's a good thing. I mean, aren't you actually relieved that I'm not your brother? No. No? Yes. I don't know. I'm gonna call the police. No, go ahead. I'd rather be a convict than be your brother. And I just wish I could... He's not my brother, he's just some hustler from Tarzana. It's true. He's a car thief! Him and Skip! I called the police! I lied to you, Max. I'm not your son. I'm sorry, the, the police were chasing... I need to see Janice. <sighs> my mother's name's not Janice, Max. It's Hillary. She's not a cellist. She's a flight attendant for Apache Air. And I'm not your son, Dad. But I love you like the father I never had. And you. My God, I love seeing your face so much. I never want to blink again. It's the cheese. They're everywhere. Perfect. I fell in love with a felon. A Russian of me. Will you marry me? <laughs> Pretty crazy timing. Yeah, he said to live in the moment, so. Well, I'm about to go to prison, I had to ask. You son of a bitch. I guess 
I really deserve this. What? You have beautiful eyes. You know that? You too, Boris Maximovich. It runs in the family. Favorites. <laughs> My son and my daughter are getting married. Thank you.